Well, it's adventure time, oh, oh. Подчёрт, товарищ, my name is Datura, welcome to Datura Place and welcome back to Gerda. Today we're testing out if our choices really do matter. Uh, we're replaying the last day, Tuesday, the day of the uh, train uh, situation that happened uh, in, the, in the end of the game. And I really hope that we will be able to save Anders, so let's go ahead, do different choices and see what happens. Uh, we do have three Peter options. will be busy preparing for tonight's mission. I'm sure he wishes to save Anders, but perhaps I need to make sure that we're on the same page. We did this option last time and it kind of didn't end up good. So let's go ahead and try... Mr. says he has no power over the Gestapo. But surely he or Margaret can somehow help me break Anders out at the station. I'm just trying to save my man Anders. Let's try Mr. Westergaard. Maybe he's not as bad as he is. Maybe there's still something in his heart. Hopefully it will work. Let's see. It's a different option. I don't think I visited uh, Mr. Westergaard last time. So it's gonna be different. All right. They have to help me, right? Behind closed doors. My breath hitches in my throat as I approach. Mrs. Larson? Can I come in? I'm afraid now is not the best time. Please, Vera. This is important. I'm very well. I was nice to her. All right. Mr. Westergaard and Mrs. Margaret are engaged at the moment. Perhaps it's bad if it's best if you Father, how can you say that? What are they fighting? What's going on in there? A family matter. You'd better come back some other time. I need to speak with them now. Please don't try and stop me, Vera. Gerda is nice today, huh? An inconvenience? Is that... Is that all he is to you? Is everything alright, Margaret? Gerda? She looks on the verge of tears. I don't think I've ever seen her this angry. I'm sorry, sir. I tried to stop her. It's quite alright, Vera. You may return to your duties. But she... Vera... Very well, sir. I'm afraid you've caught us at a poor time, dear Gerda. My daughter is acting like a child instead of the composed woman she ought to be. Perhaps you can talk some sense into her, make her realize it's all for the best. The war is ending soon. And that soldier was only going to drag her into the mud. Oh, how can you say that? I loved him. You made me love him. Without your persistent needling, I wouldn't have... Oh, uh, yes, my fault for betting on the wrong horse, so to speak. It seemed a proper match at the time, but as you see, times have changed. So expect me to just change my feelings at will? You have to be able to adapt, sweet Margaret. That's how you make it in this world. And a young woman like you needs to find herself a husband. One who can provide for her and will make sure to find you a proper one this time. Someone without any messy affiliations. But I have, I have my, my writing. Oh dear, we both know how well that's going, don't we? You're too soft for business, so marriage is what you'll have to do. You're cruel, cruel man. I don't know why I didn't see it before. I have to go. I never knew her to be so temperamental. Try to see it from her side. She'll get over it, I'm sure. I don't think she will. Now, what can I do for you, my dear? I came to ask you for help. My help? Why, I'm sure that can be arranged, but uh, would you do me a favor first? 
go talk some sense into my daughter. Then we can talk. Alright. I mean, I think she is right. Like, Margaret must have gone to her room. I should go check up on her. I'm wondering where her room is. Wait, where's Margaret's room? This is her room, huh? Here she is. Margaret? I, I can't stand it anymore. I'm sorry, I must look a proper mess right now. This town is too much. I'm leaving. Right now? Where are you going? North. Somewhere north and far away from father. Are you sure it's a good idea? Well, I... She keeps wincing in pain. Did something. Margaret, are you hurt? Oh, it's... it's nothing. What happened? I was at Margaret yesterday looking into my father's affairs and... Suddenly there was a crowd of angry faces all around me. They were shouting and cursing and throwing all sorts of things. Just because of Volcan and I. Can you imagine? I never knew our neighbors could be so cruel. Oh, please, Gerda. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I just want to forget. She was accosted by an angry crowd of Danes. What was that? Oh no. What is happening out there? Wait, what? Conversation was interrupted, so let's check what happened. Is it there though? Someone broke in. Oh no, poor Vera. Gerda, come quick. Did he kill her? What? Is she alright? She must have come to investigate the crash. She's breathing at least. It seems some vagabond has thrown a brick through our window and entered the house. Do you mean they're in here with us? We should call the police. Leave it! Just wanted to make sure I got you all here. You've taken things too far, old man. You mean to shoot me then? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't. Gerda. I'm disappointed to see you with these people. I thought you were better than that, but I'll make this quick. Wait a moment. Let's talk this through like civilized people, shall we? Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed your little foray into my factory last night. You deserve nothing less. Ah, but what about my focus? Your actions caused a lot of collateral damage. Don't pretend you care about your walkers. If you did, you wouldn't have that business down south. What are you talking about? Margaret, is it? I wonder if you know what your father here has been up to. Tell me, Mr. Westergaard, did you really have to go so far as to use concentration camp labor? What? In Germany. Your father owns a majority stake in a company using concentration camp labor to produce war goods. Better they work in my factory than somewhere else. Wouldn't you agree, Gerda? Ah, uh, sounds like profiteering to me. A cynical person would definitely think that. I've let you jabber on for long enough. It's time we end this. And here I thought you would have appreciated the information that I fed to your people. What? Well, who do you think made sure you knew the Germans were storing munitions in the factory, huh? You? You helped us attack your own factory? What does it matter to me if you take German goods, eh? Though, I wish you'd been a bit less explosive about it. A minor inconvenience for me, but for the walkers, well, hardly a show of solidarity. Of all the people to help us, I... You're still a corrupt elitist, profiting from slave labor in concentration camps. I'm going to shoot ya. Well, I assumed you didn't come here just to attack my housekeeper. Though I should warn you, what do you think will happen to the 
almost 300 Jewish prisoners who work for my business. If that business is gone. He slowly reaches for his uh, breast pocket, leaves a pistol tracking his every move and pulls out a printed letter. If you cannot read German, perhaps dear Gerda here can translate it for you. The camp's commander is anxious to get rid of those prisoners. I trust you know how the Nazis get rid of their prisoners. And if anything should happen to me, well, you might as well be pointing that pistol at them. Now, just like last night. I'm well aware of your explosive plans for tonight. How? As a leader, skilled and motivating people, I would have expected you to appreciate the same skill in me. Regardless of your obvious disrespect for me, I intend to once more respect your little endeavor and once again enable your efforts. Some guards will be called upon to secure my factory tonight, leaving others post unmanned. Suppose where you might find yourself. So what is it going to be, freedom fighter? Pull that trigger, dooming the people who follow you here and hundreds of innocent lives, lives over in Germany. Or grow up and act like a big girl. You bastard. Hiding behind the lives of innocents. Have you no shame? God damn it, I don't have time for this. You think you've managed to get away with all that? Oh, I missed something, but okay. Mr. Vestergaard has agreed to help the resistance afford by ensuring that there are less guards posted at the train station tonight. A shame about the window. Listen, dear Gerda, I know you intend to save Anders. Don't expect much help from me. But father, how did you know to keep that ladder on you? Did you really know she was coming for you? That was incredible. A good negotiator seals the deal before even getting to the table. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to make some calls. Oh, Gerda. I never imagined father would be involved in something as terrible as concentration camps. There's no way I can stay in this house a second longer. What are you going to do? I'll take the train to Randers tonight. Ah, uh, Just did before the 8 p.m. train. Oh, I see. I don't know what you're going to do about Anders Gerda, but I hope you get him back. Uh-huh. Oh, Vera. Oh, thanks God. It seems she's waking up. You better get out of here before she does, or we won't hear the end of it. Alright, guys. Things are going quite differently this time. I wonder if I'll be able to save Anders, yo? Yeah? The war brought out the best in some. And the worst in others. Vestergaard had always been ambitious, but his greed pushed him further and further into collaboration. It's true that he directed some of his wealth and power towards helping those in need, even towards the resistance. But were these token gestures enough to make up for the harm he'd done? Was I wrong to accept his help? I mean, he said there's no help from him. Anyways, a man cannot simply buy away his sins. Vestergaard deserves to be punished for what he has done. Uh, Vestergaard was not born a monster in his own way. He has doing the best he could with the situation at hand. There is no easy morality in war. Everyone gets their hands dirty, but we must do what we can to keep the dirt from spreading too far. I think the last one... There is no easy morality in war. Everyone gets their hands dirty. But we must do what we can to keep the dirt from spreading too far. Well, uh, is it? Oh, wit. All oh, right, wit. Four points, which is kind of nice. Let's see what else we have here. 2 p.m., guys. Okay, guys, so now we do have a time-sensitive option. Reinhard it's only one is choice. finishing his deal with the smugglers from Copenhagen. If I assist him, he may be more inclined to help me rescue Anders. Alright, let's try and do the Reinhardt thing. Because last time we decided to go to Resistance and help them. And it didn't really end up good. So maybe Reinhardt will really be able to help us. Plus we haven't seen this scene. So uh, it's probably going to be interesting. Alright. I should find Reinhardt and get this over with. Let's make it happen. Here he is. 
Larson, what the devil are you doing here? I hear you're planning to finish your deal with those smugglers from Copenhagen. What is it with this town? It's about as good at holding secrets as a damn thief. Well, what do you want? As you can tell, I'm pretty damn busy. I want to strike a deal. A little late for that, don't you think? But fine, I'll allow it. What's your proposal? I promise to help you with your mission here, if you promise to help me free Anders tonight at the station. I'm not promising anything, but as I have business at the station as well, well, it might work out for both of us. But I cannot afford for this to go poorly, so you'd better not mess it up. Werner, get the truck ready. Y yes, sir. Larson, follow me. There's something happening here in the market. Oh, he'd be like, Oh, that's enough of that. You know the state frowns on these kind of publications. Last I checked, this book wasn't banned in Denmark. Scheiße, what is all this? I thought I paid you to keep this place empty today, Miller. Sorry, boss. These guys are here on Inspector Stoll's orders. We'll have to get the truck through this crowd. Larson, you have some sway with the locals. Go figure out what's going on. Okay, let's make it happen. What's happening? Oh, Gerda, somewhere's been, someone's been telling the soldiers that my store carries book with anti-German sentiments. And now they want to confiscate the whole lot. I'm telling you, it isn't legal. Hey, you was the red scarf. Move out of the way. This doesn't concern you. Uh, I have a crime report. Is this really worth your time? Make Reinhardt bribe them. I mean... Uh, well, let's use inside. Is this really worth your time? I'm sure there's more lucrative pursuit to be found than spending time confiscating a couple of dusty old books. How dare you question? No, she's got a point. Let's make some of the schoolboys in our unit deal with this matter. I've heard a rumor about some smuggling taking place in one of the alleys. Well, we'd better check that out then. Thank you, Gerda. Can you believe all that commotion over a little book like this? Can't wait for this war to finally end. At least that's over. Alright. Everyone's chill and quiet now. What up, Reinhardt? Go check on our business associate further down the road. I'll get the truck moving. Okay. Which road, though? Uh... Maybe the other way. Or right here. Can't be out of this backwater soon enough. Your German friend sure knows how to pick a handoff spot. You ready to move the goods? Yes, let's go for it. I mean, why not? We are ready. We're prepared. We need to save Anders. Almost done, boss. Just a couple more boxes. Nice job, learner. Quick and efficient. Now, onto the matter of payment. Larson, if you don't mind. And don't mess up the translation. This is no time for misunderstandings. Tell them to hand over the documents or else... Uh... Do you have the documents? Indeed. Unfortunately, what your friend brought barely covers his debt. He won't be getting the documents. What's the bastard saying? It doesn't look good. He says you're not getting the papers. Shit, no surprise there. Nothing we can do about it. Maybe we can negotiate? It was a high-risk job after all. What's the offer? That we don't turn you in. Okay. Okay. Well, in that case, I suppose we might as well offload the papers. Now let's... Hey! What's going on over here? More smuggling, eh? What's going on? More Germans? Shit, this is becoming a mess. What are you doing here, Hunter Officer Richard? Same thing as you. Investigating. And you, Fräulein? I'm only translating, sir. Excellent. Then you won't mind translating that we want to take a look at these trucks. 
All right, I brought the papers. We're handing them off. Who's this guy? What's he saying? You woman, you speak Danish, translate. He just brought some papers for the road. Well, then we'll have to take a look at those. Tell them we're going to search the trucks. Now hold on a second, you catch little upstart, this is my catch. What about these Germans? What are these Germans talking about? Tell him to stop talking. Tell him not to point at me like that. He says he's had enough, he doesn't want any trouble. Okay. I don't give a fuck what he wants. We're searching the trucks. I said hands off, they're mine. Larson! Tell the Danish bastard that I'm arresting them. Reinhardt offers a sly wink. Ah, oh, shush. Let Reinhardt arrest you. Look out, they're about to shoot. Okay, let Reinhardt arrest you. Trust me. Whatever gets these Germans off our backs. Look, here comes my second private now. Müller! What took you so long? We need a bit more muscle for this arrest. What? what Oh, you heard him. These men have been causing trouble all day. But I thought... Enough talk, let's get to work. We'll take it from here, man. I guess you've got this under control. Let's go. Shit, shit. Now what? Those clowns will report me if I don't bring these smugglers in. What he's saying? He seems agitated. Uh, just ironing some di di details. I see. Okay, Müller, Werner. Slowly, so no one notices. Get your guns ready. Our guns? Can't you see? These men are about to reach for their weapons. They're about to attack. We're afraid for our lives. We need to defend ourselves. Reinhardt, you can't. These are already too many... Lose ends, Larson. This is the only way. There must be another way. I thought you were an actor. Oh! I thought you were an actor. Why not put on a performance, fake a shootout? A performance, eh? Now that's a damn fine idea. Tell these blokes to get out of here. And to pop off a few rounds for good measure. He says to leave, fake an escape. Nah, nothing we haven't done before. Here are the documents. Reinhardt was able to get passage to South America. Bon voyage. Alright, Werner. You ready to earn a bonus? What? Someone has to get shot. Nurse's orders. Otherwise, no one is buying this. Don't worry. I'll clip you. Okay. Is he okay, though? My arm, my arm! Just hold on, you'll live. Miller, grab the papers. And look at it this way, Werner. Now it's less likely you'll get sent to the front. I mean, alright. But why he was moving like this? That was kind of weird. Anyways, I think that went pretty nice, huh? When I look at the alleys and shops of Tinglet Market, I no longer saw the quaint village square I'd once known. Memories of smugglers, angry crowds and shifty soldiers polluted every corner. They had robbed the place of its provincial charm, but I wasn't innocent either. The memories stuck to me like tar. Had I made the right choice, helping these greed-stricken men despite the cost? It's better to get what you want than be left with nothing, even if you have a twist or a few arms. I should not be so hard on myself. My options were limited and my husband was in danger. There will always be greed in the world. We can never truly avoid it, but helping it along too eagerly is still a sin. I mean, I'm just trying to protect I my husband. I shouldn't be so hard on myself. My options were limited, and my husband was in danger. Yes, compassion. But we have zero insight, which is not cool. I think it's train mission, guys. It's time. 6 p.m. It is train station. Here we go. The steam from the train rises in the horizon. If I falter now... Anders might be taken away from me forever. Let's go. Let's make it happen. I really hope everything is gonna be fine.
Let's see. Soldier, we're to move out at once. New orders from the sergeant. But I thought we had station duty all day. Not anymore, it seems someone up here wants us elsewhere. Let's go. Minus the people, which is great, guys. This is it. I need to save Anders before it's too late. The others will be wanting my help as well, but I only have so much time. The train was on time. This is scary. Guys, I really hope we'll be able to save Anders. I mean, so far we're just taking different options and we'll see how it goes. Gerda! Gerda, it's good to see you. Friends of the Resistance are few and far between today. Yeah, fucking Sven is nowhere to be found all of a sudden. I assume you know why we're here. We're going to hit the southbound train, the one with the munitions. Uh, and Anders? If we can break him out too, then all the better. However, we need to do what's best for the cause. But you promised to use some explosives to free Anders. No single person is more important than the mission. Just the same, the blast might help him free. The prisoners are in the first car behind the engine. But we don't know where the munitions are. We want you to figure out which car is housing the munitions and when you do, place this bottle next to it. So we know which car to hit. Otherwise, we'll just go for the car nearest to the prisoners. What? Why? They're using them as hostages. The munition car must be just nearby. And at least, it'll blow open a hole for Anders to get out. Assuming he doesn't get hurt. We'll move towards the train as soon as you cause some kind of distraction. If you can keep the northbound train here a little longer, it'll give us some cover. Liva asked me to identify which train. Okay, and Gerda. Watch out for Stahl. Why? He raided the inn earlier. We got out, but the fucking idiot shot his own kid by mistake. At the hands of his own father. Henrik died. Shot him right in front of me. Didn't even make a sound when he fell. Oh my god, Peter. Just be careful, Gerda. A man who returns to his duties after an event like that is bound to be on edge. Alright, that's quite different, guys. So Stoll is gonna be on edge now. We gotta be super careful. He just shot his own kid, what? Reinhardt? Let's talk to Jacob. Sup, Jacob? Oh, Gerda, my child. I'm glad you made it. Esther and Sophia are waiting to board the northbound train with the refugees from Germany. Please, help clear the track for the guards if you can. The more easily they can board, the better. I'm afraid I've done all I can for now. Okay. Gerda, if you're here to see Anders, you better hurry to the platform. There isn't much time. We can talk later. Okay. Reinhardt. Lars, just the woman I wanted to see. It's time I tied up some loose ends. Care to help tighten the knot or two? Uh... What do I have to do with this? Not much now, but as usual, helping me will probably help your husband. I'm going to plan something... Combu combustible on the train. The Gestapo will naturally blame your resistance buddies and all the evidence of my little theft from the factory <laughs> up in the smoke. Why would they blame the resistance? Will that work? Of course. Those resistance fools have been running riot all over town entirely too conspicuous. Uh, they were even there when the criminal inspector's Nazi brat got shot. They're the obvious culprits. He must not know they already planning to plant a bomb themselves. This could get messy. I just need one small thing from you. Once you've spent some time around the station, cause some kind of distraction so that I can plant the, my bomb. Think you can manage it? I've got other priorities I can try. 
Trust me, you'd better do more than just try. See you around, Larson. I hope this doesn't blow up in my face. Alright. Hopefully these are all nice choices, guys. It's time to go, Hirsch Larson. That was the final prisoner, sir. Very good. Let's get on with it. Anders, I have to get out of there. Both of the trains will be departing soon. I need to see what I can do around the station before creating a distraction. I should remember that I can use the underpass to get to the other side of the station. Time until departure. Okay, guys. Should we talk? I'm just trying to see all the options available. Cause what if there's something? But apparently no. Let's talk to Stahl. Frau Larsen, I see that I cannot escape your face these days. Do you want something from me or are you just wasting my time? Can I speak with my husband? Okay, it did work, thanks God. Normally I would not allow such sentimentality, but even if I have sympathy for a woman who will soon become a widow, enjoy your farewell. Soldier, keep an eye on these filthy rebels. I'm off to inspect the other guards. Anders, Gerda? Oh Gerda, it's so good to hear your voice. He sounds surprisingly spirited. It is good to speak with you again, darling. But I'm afraid we don't have much time. The guard is eyeing me, I should hurry. There's about to be some commotion. What do you need from me, darling? I need you to brace yourself. Move towards the front of the car and try to avoid getting hurt. Oh, all right, Gerda. Is this goodbye? Not even close. All right. That was good, I think. Now. Should we talk to these people? You've seen Reinhardt slinking around the train cars? Awfully suspicious, don't you think? Indeed, he seems usually more twitchy than usual. He might be up to something. Those two guards seem to have it out for Reinhardt. I could try to draw their attention away from him. Yes. Excuse me, I couldn't help but overhear you talking about Herr Reinhardt. You know him? I don't trust him one bit. He's just doing his job. He is not the one selling contraband. We have premium goods, let's use it. Look what I found near the guard station. Someone here is up to no good. Oh, let me take a look at that. Looks like I need to focus on the real criminals here. Two soldiers uh, who were suspicious of Reinhardt will be less adamant in their pursuit. Good, guys. We did a good thing for Reinhardt. Let's see what else can we do. Station clock. Oh, should I examine? Only a few minutes until Anders' train leaves. Oh, sheesh. We're on the other side, guys. It looks like Esther has nearly boarded the train with the refugees from Germany. Those must be the train cars that Leva and Peter want to target. Okay. So what are we doing? Who will help him? Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. She's still here. My girl's still here. Should we send her home? I don't know. Should we try uh, Esther and uh, her daughter to leave? What is this guy? He's looking at refugees. What is it? There's some commotion up ahead. I mean to give you to give these to my friend, Margit Westergaard. 
I meant to give uh, them to her earlier, but she boarded before I had a chance. She should be in one of the first class carriages. Huh, valuable stuff. Sure, I'll uh, take it right to her. You just wait right here. Minus second person, guys. Which is also great. Let's try and help Esther. Gerda, I'm so glad we made it to the station. We've only, only a little further to go. Let's just hope nothing goes wrong. Ah, oh, hope. I nearly forgot about that. What are you two bothering about up there? I should keep my voice down. I'm not used to being around this many people anymore. See you later, Gerda. I hope. Oh, there was nothing. Exhausted refugee. This lane hasn't moved in ages. What is taking so long? Can you believe this? What happened to German dignity? I don't know why I just did, but I did something. I thought you were supposed to be strong in discomfort. I suppose you're right. Let's show these Danes a thing or two about order, eh? I calmed down all the German refugees. Alright. That was great. He's busy checking papers. The conductor might be able to delay the train slightly. That would give the resistance some cover and give Esther and Sophia more time to board. But I might put the train at risk of getting caught in an explosion. Excuse me? Yes. Could you hold the train? Oh, sheesh. I have a friend who's running late. Well, then your friend should have gotten here earlier. That was rude. Whistle. The northbound train will be departing in five minutes. Five minutes until departure. That's so not good, guys. Where's the whistle? The train whistle. Can I get it from my friend, maybe? Let's talk to Tobin. I guess they've loaded Anders onto the train. Is there anything I can do to help? Can Irsa uh, open the mail room for me? Okay, but what for? You need something from there? Alright, but please be quick. Irsa, could I, could I trouble you for a moment? Of course, darling, what is it? Can you open the mail room for Gerda? Sure, I mean, there are a lot of guards around, but alright. Please be quick. I don't know what's happening in the mailroom, but here we are. Wait, what am I supposed to get here? Supplies. There must be something I can use in here. Ah, here we go. Train whistle. Alright, that's enough. Please go before I get into any trouble. The northbound train is nearly ready to departure all aboard. This is time, time to make destruction. Any commotion I create will draw the attention for nearby um, guards. I should choose carefully. Giving that girl a whistle will cause a commotion, but she's a child. That trash can is pure kindling. A fire would distract the guards. If not else, I can always ask Irsa to pull the station alarm. I think we can ask Irsa for the station alarm. Or actually the kid. She's a kid, so nobody's gonna shoot her, huh? Hopefully. Fingers crossed, guys. I mean, I got the train whistle. For what? Not for just random stuff. Let's try and make it happen. I wonder if this child could distract the guards. Hello there. Hi, lady. Do you want to play a game? Um... Yes, but you have to take this whistle. Oh, yes. Run around the station and blow it as loud as you can, alright? If you do a good job, you can keep the whistle. Teal. What is that racket? The train isn't leaving yet, is it? Hey, kid. Hee hee. Get back here. We need to get that whistle away from her. Why are you men chasing my daughter? She's disrupting the entire station. Now's my chance. Oh, 
I didn't put guys I didn't put the bottle you German dogs are going to pay for this all right you miss greens almost time to ship out a little pre travel travel discipline might make you more docile let's see how you all behave after you feel the butt of my rifle going to come in there and teach you a lesson there's Reinhardt a lot less guns on this train than people are expecting Better do something about that. Oi, Reinhardt. What you got in your scummy hands here? Mind your business, you scuffy old rat. That's it. We've all had enough of your capers. If I find out you're up to something, I'm taking you in. Come on, let's go. The train will give us cover until we're close. No time to waste. Why are they put in the bomb here? What are those two doing over there? All right, get on, old man. Stay close to me, Livian. It's time to get on the train. Yes, mama. Not so fast, lady. The train is nearly full and it's reserved for displaced Germans. That you? I, of course, will see about that. Oh no, who should I help? Esther, Reinhardt, Leva, Anders. What? Let's say Reinhardt. Let's have a look at what you're carrying, eh? Back off or I'll have you pulling Latrine duty for a month. We've got direct order from Stoll. I need to speak with you, soldier. What? What are you bothering about, woman? Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? Uh, they found a suspicious package. No one's guarding the station entrance. Anyone could waltz right in. What? These damn recruits are getting too comfortable. Go check it out, will ya? I need to finish up here. I saw some people crossing the tracks. I guess I don't. I saw some people crossing the tracks. They look suspicious. Damn it. We really need to shore up security around here. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, Reinhardt. Well, look at you, Larson. Coming through for your old friend, Reinhardt. Just doing what I have to. Aren't we all? Now, if you don't mind me, I got some fireworks to set on. A bomb on this car will cover up Reinhardt's tracks. Thanks goodness, Esther's train is about to leave before the bomb goes off. Uh, please don't. Guards, try not to burn yourself. Thanks for the concern. I'm running out of time. I can only get to one more person. Esther or Leva or Anders. Anders! I've had it with you, creamy bastard. Time to teach you for some manners. The prisoners need a medical inspection. Lady, you don't inspect cattle before a slaughter. No amount of medical attention is going to save these fools. You got no business here. This is a prisoner transport. Aren't you supposed to guard it? That's proving difficult. Time for a more direct approach. Now let me get back to my job. Isn't your job to protect the goods? Uh, which is Pekin or Shackled Printers? Okay, let's try to use my wit. Won't the officer at the end of the line be mad if they receive damaged workers? I oh, damn it. Fine, but I, I ain't about to make it cozy for them. One more peep and they're feeling in the butt of my rifle. Now, are you just going to stand there gawking? Or is there something else you wanted? You must have lost loved ones. I'd like to say goodbye to my husband. Fine, but be quick. This might be my last chance to speak with him before things get too chaotic. Anders, Anders, can you hear me? I love you. The chickens are doing well. Move towards the front of the train. Yes, darling, I remember. Thank you. 
All right, lady, enough chatter. Get out of here. The northbound train is leaving. Oh no, Sophia and Esther never made it aboard the train. No way. Jesus. Oh no, the train is gone. I need you both to come with me. Esther has been taken into Nasi. Ugh. Guys. Guys. I cannot save anyone in this game. I think they're doing something to the train. I need to get a guard. Guard. Come here. What is it? Bomb planted. Let's get the hell out of here. Shit, is that... Is that Gestapo barge stall? Let's go around. Shit. Looks like half the German army showed up. I order you to stop. I order you to stop. Frau Larsen, please, you must step back. This is no place for civilians. I suppose these... There are worse ways to go. Uh, leave a don't. Or shut up. Leave a don't. I suppose there's no need. Not so fast. So you're the scum that's been terrorizing my town. Making a mockery of the Gestapo. Causing the death of my boy. I'm not only you. Not letting you Miss Greens do any more damage. Sir, wait. Oh, Leva! Leva died. Wolfgang, Margit will be devastated. Devastated. Wolfgang died. Peter died. Peter was captured. The bomb is going off any second. I mean, step back. Everyone seems to be dazed by the explosion. This is my chance. I need to get to Anders. Yes, darling. The explosion tore open the train card. Oh, Anders. Anders, are you alright? I feel alright. Then let's go. Hurry towards the woods. Oh, he's alive. He's alive, guys. Oh my gosh, please let it be alright. Please let it be alright. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, let's run. <gasps> he got shot. Anders, are you alright? I'm fine, keep going. I'll be right behind you. They're after us. Keep going. Don't look back. Oh my freaking god. There's a fork in the path. Uh, wh where should we go? Let's go straight. I don't remember the correct passage, guys. Let's go up. Jesus, please let them be all right. He's dying. Anders, please get up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Gerdy. He looks like he's about to pass out from the exhaustion. Please, you have to get up. We can't stay here. You're right. Hold! Don't move. Please don't shoot. Please don't shoot. He's bleeding. It looks like he can't barely keep himself standing. How did he even manage to follow us this far? Frau Larsen. But of course it's you. How could I have been so blind? Of course you're the root for all the misfortune. Every time disaster has struck in my town, you've been somewhere nearby. 
I thought your husband was the key to riding this town of the its crime and fact station. But it seems his dear wife has been paying tricks under my nose all along. Well, no more. No more paperwork, no more protocol. It's high time that I take justice into my own hands and rid this town of you for good. Herstal, please. I'll give myself up. Just please, let Gerda go. Let my wife go. She was never meant to be a part of this. A little too late for that. Please just... Don't take one step for the hair, Larson. Or I swear it will be your last. In less than a week, this place has fallen into chaos. Do you have any idea what you've done? His face is almost the same color as the snow. He can't possibly hold himself upright for much longer. I need to keep him talking. Talk about his son. Nazi Germany, talk about this town, talk about his ideology. Oh guys, let's talk about ideology, I think. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Don't you think you'll be lauded as a hero? I'm gladly die for my country. Or leave to see it turn on you. Or leave to see it corrupting you. I'm a pure of spirit. You're an occupier. This land is already five years removed from any battle you could even imagine as heroic. You rule over us with violence and no spirit can intact this and remain pure. How long before you find out you already corrupted? I... I have to keep them talking. Talk about town, talk about Nazi, Germany or talk about his son. Well, he died. Think about your son. Henrik, don't you dare mention his name. You're the one who killed my boy. You dragged him with you into the mud of an occupied land. Did Henrik deserve this? Any of this? Compassion Zero. Ah! This is the legacy we leave our children with. Shit. I still don't know what my legacy will be, but yours I do know. A legacy of state violence. Ours is a legacy of glory. Successor to the Holy Roman and German empires. Blah blah blah. He seems even angrier than before. Talk about town, talk about Nazi Germany. Talk about town. This town was supposed to be under your protection. We, whom you consider German, just like you, were supposed to be under your protection. Isn't that why you brought all your tanks here? But this town has been torn to pieces even since you arrived. None of this would have touched you if you hadn't interfered. You and your husband could have lived loyally and happily. Wit too. Why it's not possible? I do have wit too. My loyalty lies with Tinglev. Shit. Oh my gosh, he's dead. It's time for you to pay the crimes. Fuck it. Guys, fuck it. I am saving him. I am saving Anders no matter what. I don't care. I'm saving him. Okay, guys. So we're here again. I did all the same choices except the destruction was caused by uh, Irsa's alarm. Uh, I did not span any wit and compassion points, so hopefully let's see what happens. Please don't shoot. Alright, alright. Uh, let's talk about his son first. Maybe it'll help. Talk about his son. Henry. He's died, yes, we know that. Your son followed you, mimicked you. You brought him to this town, so you could rule over it as the Gestapo detective. And he learned that he rules uh, its people and that he should play detective. You failed to protect him from your own influence. I, that's not true. He's hesitating. I have to keep him talking. Talk about ideology or talk about town. Let's talk about town. We'll see how it goes. I think there was wit. Yes, it's wit, because you made it. 
You burst into this town, into my house, and ripped my husband from me. You aren't protecting any of us, not even Germans. You want dominance. Your protection is that of a mobster. I do protect the Reich. His breath has gotten more shallow. He looks like he's about to pass out. I have to keep going. Well, but now, guys. Unfortunately, I have zero points. I don't know what to do. We'll see. Talk about Nazi Germany. Uh, is that trick question? Uh, we will take our place. It's green. Thanks God, Jesus. More will take our place. And the more you conquer, the more opposition you will face. Your number thin as you spread your reach. This was never sustainable. The moment you bet on endless expansion, you'd already lost. You're, you're wrong. His face is deadly pale. I just need to stall him a little more. Talk about ideology. What are you doing this? Do you think you'll be uh, landed as a hero? I'm, gl I'm gladly die uh, for my country. Or live to see it turn on you. You're painting yourself as a hero, but look at what's happening. Tinglef is burning. It was your jurisdiction and now it's a battlefield. You're not a soldier. You're not supposed to make a mess. How long before you find yourself being blamed for it? I... It's over, Stahl. I'm not. I can't. He's down. I can't believe it. Anders, this is our chance. Anders? Wait, what are you doing? He's still breathing. Long live the Reich. If he comes back for us, we need to make sure he can hurt us or anyone else. <gasps> Let it ho happen or don't do this, Sanders. Guys, I don't know what to do. He's already down, I cannot kill him. We need to make sure he can hurt us or anyone else. Guys, I don't want to be a bad person. I don't want to be a bad person. But let it happen. Justice will come for you. Justice will... Anders puts his hand around Stahl's neck. Several moments pass in eerie silence. Anders? Anders? I'm sorry. It's done. There are more soldiers coming. We need to get away from here. You're right. Let's go. I mean... And just I'm like that, it all ended. We ran and ran until we found refuge with a pair of local farmers who were willing to hide us from the Nazis. Anders and I huddled in solitude, hearing only snippets of news from a poorly tuned radio and our kindly hosts. Months passed, and on the 4th of May, Denmark was liberated from its German occupiers. But the war did not end quietly like I had hoped. There was a maelstrom of activity as Nazi collaborators were put into camps, snitches were executed by the resistance, and others were put on trial for treason. But in time, life began to return to its familiar patterns. We went back home. The house had been searched, though it was otherwise as we had left it. Once we cleared away the mess, it felt like no time had passed at all, like it was all a bad dream. But in all the nooks and crannies, the ghosts of the past were waiting for us to let down our guard, lest we forgot what happened and who we had lost. Oh boy, Anders is alive. That's all I care about. That's all I care about. Jesus. I saw Leva at the train station the other day. She was handing out pamphlets with a pair of young revolutionaries on her heels. She was a hero to them both for her actions during the war and the organizing she had undertaken since. When she caught me staring, she smiled awkwardly, then looked away. Perhaps she was sorry for involving me in her plans and for the people who were hurt by our actions. But none of this stopped her from promoting her cause. I wonder if she will ever succeed. All right, it's not a bad fate for Leva. She's alive, she's okay. Leva achieved her goals. Perfect, girl. Peter. After he escaped from the train station, Peter had seemingly vanished into thin air. I often found myself wondering what had happened to him, until one day I heard a torrent of profanity from behind me. I couldn't help but smile as I turned to see Peter, haggard but alive. 
He had returned to Tinglev and was moving a load of car parts to his auto shop. You would have thought the tools had been Nazis from the way he swore while fumbling with them. All right, Peter is alive. Escape from the Gestapo. Perfect. Good fate. Stahl. Stahl died on that dark winter's night, defending a system which was collapsing around him. His ideology made him lash out with violence. I cannot understand how a person comes to be that way, but I must believe that future generations will learn from this horrible war so that its mistakes are not repeated. How could anyone ever forget such dark years? What she says is very crazy, uh, especially with everything that's happening right now in the world. And wow. Uh, anyway, Stahl is dead and violence escalated. I mean, whatever you give life, you will get back. Wolfgang. Margit wrote to tell me that Wolfgang returned to Germany in the closing days of the war. He had felt duty-bound to surrender to the Allies, along with the rest of his men. He was a proud soldier who was trapped by a system which exploited his pride. In a different time and a different place, he might have gone down a better path. And both he and Margit might have been happier for it. But he's still alive and he's cool. Wolfgang survived the war, yes. Esther... My hand shakes as I write these words, unable to contain my sorrow. Esther and Sophia's bodies have been identified at the Neuengamme concentration camp, though details of their deaths are sparse. Were they at least together? Or did little Sophia die alone and afraid, while her helpless mother perished in some distant cell? They were so close to escape. Could I have done more for them than I did? Oh guys, I had to take care of my uh, husband, excuse me. I cannot claim to fully understand Reinhard. He was a selfish crook, indifferent to the harm his actions caused. But he was also smart. He was careful. He didn't rush headlong into danger unless there was a profit to be made. His actions at the station will always confound me. What made him so rash, so jittery, and so reckless? I don't know what happened to him after his arrest. But given how the Nazis treated their prisoners, I cannot imagine that there was a pleasant end to his journey. Ah, uh, well, Reinhardt, he was a weird character. He was kinda okay, but he acted only in his own interest. And um, unlike Gerda, she was not hurting anyone. She was just deciding if I wanna help this person or I wanna help some other person. But this guy, he did nasty stuff so he got what he wanted uh, Reinhardt was arrested at the train station Olga Vestergaard requested a house call today he was complaining about chest pains but his heart sounded perfectly healthy I think his pain stems from something entirely different something that gigantic fortune of his can never cure this Friday, the city council is hosting a banquet to honor his efforts to assist the resistance. It's as though everyone has forgotten the fortune he made supplying the Nazis. Can a few token gestures really restore a man's reputation so easily? Don't even know what to tell y'all about Algot Westergaard. He also acted in his own interests and he also helped everybody, just like Gerda. I cannot judge him. I cannot say anything about him. He just... He did what he had to do, I guess. Maintain his fortune, help divert the train station guards, which is good. I miss Margit. All I have now is our correspondence. She cut all ties with her father and moved up north to Randers. It seems like the big city suits her, and she even writes short stories for a local magazine. Her stories are tinged with melancholy, but I'm happy to see her doing so well. Margit loved her from the beginning to the end. I'm glad that she is more independent now. I talked to the pastor at church this Sunday. He expressed sadness about fewer people showing up for church, and even fewer staying for coffee after. Neither the Danes nor the Germans seem to be able to stand being in the same room together. I tried convincing him to show patience. 
The town needs more time to heal. Love Jacob, he's cute. Violence escalated. Ah oh, no, he's fine, he's not dead. Charlotte. I saw Charlotte at the market today. She was alone and could barely get the attention of any of the merchants. Even the villagers who had collaborated with the occupation acted like she wasn't there. Perhaps it wasn't intentional. Maybe they simply didn't notice her because they were too busy washing their own hands. I spoke to her, and her face lit up in a smile. The words seemed to fail my formerly chatty cousin. We shopped together, and despite all the cold stares, I think she was happy for the company. Charlotte is okay, which is great. She trusted me. All right, and she was not at the camp, huh? Which is amazing. Mari. I visited the inn last Thursday. Mida was there, standing behind the bar and looking like her usual self. She keeps busy, serving beer and bantering with the locals. But every so often, I catch her staring blankly at the walls. These spells never last for long, but it seems her time inside the camps has left a mark. I wonder how long it will linger. For some people, the scars might remain forever. Okay, I actually uh, mistook Mary with the previous Charlotte lady. Uh, it, actually, it was actually Mary who went to camp. Uh, she... Well, Mighty uh, survived the war, which is great. Harold... The clinic was boarded up after Harold's death. And I was forced to start making house calls on my bicycle. The town council put out an advertisement looking for a new doctor to take over the clinic. I wonder if the new owner will be German or Danish, and which the town would prefer. Harald uh, died during the clinic break-in from the very beginning. After the war, Papa was interned at the Fowers camp, along with many other fathers in the German minority who had volunteered to help the occupiers. I only mustered the courage to visit him once. It was hard to see him so frail within the confines of that camp. But I couldn't forget his ties to the ideology that had torn apart our town. We have so little to say to each other now. So he stayed with his ideology, but at least he did not die like in my first playthrough. Our relationship deteriorated. Well... Our sleepy little town had been ripped apart by the war. And even my hands, the hands of a nurse, were not entirely free of blood. Like so many others, I had acted in self-interest, seeking safety for myself and my loved ones. But the gains I made came at a great cost to our community. Death had visited Tinglev and left its mark. How long would it take for the wounds of war to heal? I, girl, uh, you're with your husband. The whole family is alive and breathing, which is great. Where's Anders? That must be enough for today. I should go see Anders. He'll be out by the chicken coop. As always. Alright, let's go. Thanks God. Thanks God Anders is alive. Jesus, guys. Memories in a box. I should put these up soon. Everything is going back to how it once was. Nothing here. Hello, husband. Where? Where is he? He's staring blankly into space. Anders? Are you alright? I'm sorry. I didn't hear you come in. It's alright. It's over now. Yeah, of course it is. How are you feeling? About what? Well, you know, this is the first time your father won't be able to join us for Christmas. I know. We could put together a basket or something for him and visit the camp. I... I don't know, guys. I think... 
We have completely different worldviews with my father, so I don't think I'm ready. I still can't forgive him for his affiliation with the party and for making mom leave us. I understand. Listen, I think I'll go inside the house. We need to prepare for lunch. I'll come join you in a moment. This year has been a struggle. I'm still not sure how we'll be able to forget everything that happened last winter. But as long as we're together, we'll figure it out somehow. Alright. That looks like Torben's truck. What he and Peter doing here? Hello there, Gerda. Is Anders home? He's inside. We're just about to have lunch. Did she need something from him? We just wanted to share the exciting news with him. News about what? Torben here has finally got the pop. The question to his beloved Irsa. Oh, Torben, that's wonderful. I'm certainly she'll say yes. It's only taken him, what, a year to summon the courage? I don't know what you've been so worried about. If she hasn't left you by now, you'll be fine. There's still time to change her mind. <laughs> wow, there. I haven't asked her yet. You know, this off has been carrying around a ring since the war. A ring? Let's see it. Come on, Torben, show her the ring you got for the lucky lady. Alright, here you go. Simple gold band with an inscription on the inside. Strong bonds lead to... This ring seems familiar. Oh no. Back in Stoll's office. This can't be the same ring that showed... That he showed me, can it? Did Torben really collaborate with the Gestapo? What's the matter, Gerda? Do you not like it? If you ask me, it's a waste of money to buy a fancy bit of metal like that. A woman should love you and not your money. But speaking of gifts, I do have something for you and others, Gerda. Oh, I must have left it in the truck. I'll be right back. Gerda, are you alright? Torben, I've seen this ring before. Really? Oh, uh, maybe I should cut back on the drink and I don't remember showing you. You didn't. Stahl did. Oh, I... Well, you know, the Gestapo always uh, taking things, harassing people. You know why he had it. It must have been a different ring. But the inscription... Gerda, I... Why did you do it? I can't explain. I... You don't understand. Then make me understand. They found about my smuggling and they were going to arrest Irsa. I didn't have a choice. I had to tell something. You wanted to protect someone you loved. Like I wanted to protect Anders. And if you had been a bit more flexible, maybe he'd be better off. I didn't want to work with those monsters, but it's what had to be done. Working with those monsters was the only option I had. Is this why you were never arrested when they took your truck? Why they knew about the inn? A man like me never has options. Why do you think I started smuggling in the first place? How else was I going to keep the war from swallowing me whole? How else could I stay aflo afloat? You could have asked for help. You had friends. So did you. But we lost them trying to scramble our way through the war. You should know as well as anyone how easy it is for this town to turn on you. And it's not like I had a warm house to retreat to. I swear I left it in the dashboard. He's going to pay back any second. Come on, Gerda. You know I'm not a bad guy. At least I tried to help Esther. Doesn't that count something? I suppose it does. And who knows, with a bit more help maybe we could have saved her. But of course, you had your own worries to deal with. None of our hands are clean. I must have lodged itself under the seat. Gerda, please. If anyone can understand why I did what I did, it's you. Last time, I decided to reveal Peter the information, but this time... You see, I think it's better to leave it alone, because we got Anders. Everything kind of is okay with us, and I just don't want no more trouble. You did it for Irsa. I did know 
I didn't know what else to do. Here it is. Gerda, do you know Peter? Do you know what he can do? Did I leave my keys? He'll kill me if he finds out. Have some faith in him. He's not going to forgive me, I know it. Here they are. Sorry that took so long. Please, Gerda. Well, you guys sure look cheery. What's going on? Did Gerda fill your head with tales of martial horror? Hey, <laughs> Torben. Gerda, please. You know what will happen if you say anything. Think of yourself. That bad, eh? Peter, listen. It's nothing. Nothing? It's just good to see you out and about. Yeah, you too. Torben's shoulders drop as he gives me a look of utter relief. Here, I found this in the shop. Peter hands me a framed photo of me and Anders at our wedding. I thought Anders might want it. Unless he's ready to come back to the shop. Not yet. We should probably get going then. What about sharing the good news? Let's do it later. Can't wait to go see Irsa, eh? This one's excited to get on with the rest of his life. See you around, Gerda. Excited to start the rest of his life without a scratch from the war. I did the right thing, didn't I? Gerdy, lunch is ready. I can never tell Anders. This war won't leave us alone. Oh guys, what a game again. We just replayed the last day, but it's still like wild, it's crazy. All right, all right, Porta Play, that was amazing. At least this time, yeah, you see, uh, in this game, choices do matter. We did some different choices, best achievement unlocked. All right, we did some different choices in apparently uh, and this is a life which is great Papa is a life which is great and most like everyone is cool except of uh, Esther and Sophia it's a very interesting uh, storyline Esther and Sophia like they are not related they are just like out of the story they just random victims of war and I believe some people, they would want to help them instead of Anders. I don't know. I don't know. It's war and it's no matter what you choose, you can never win because it's horrible. I really hope none of us will ever experience it again. Anyways, key events. Gerda carried her own suitcase, 28%. Broke into the clinic alone, 34. Harold died, 73. Let the snitch go free, 49. No one died to try to uh, save Gerda, 35. Rescued Anders, 60%. Save the German refugees on the train, 28. You see, actually nobody decided to save Esther and um, Sophia. Maybe we should see... Esther and Sophia ending as well, but then I'm 100% sure Anders is gonna be dead, Papa is gonna be dead, and I don't know. Uh, I was friendly with Margaret until the end. Best friend, alright. Alright, guys. Alright, guys, that was it. Uh, I did what I really wanted to do after I first finished the game. I wanted to save husband Anders and gladly we did that. And overall the ending is better than what I had before. Papa is still alive even though we're not talking and Anders is alive which is also great. And I did not um, say anything about uh, Torben which is a snitch. 
let's just like war we've had enough it's enough of violence that's it uh hopefully you enjoyed that the game once again the game is so amazing and if you want to support the developer please go ahead and purchase the game it's also on uh, sale right now on a release sale so it's beautiful it's beautiful and it's amazing how trees is really better in this game which is rare thing uh don't forget to drop a like let me know what ending you got what ending would you want to see and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it yet thank you for being here and see you next time bye